When I met with the President of the United States a few years ago, he asked me the same question. What did I think was our top educational challenge? I said something like this, to unlock the potential of all children to lead their own lives instead of being led. This would be a transformational change in education, not a transactional change. People wrangle endlessly over the transactional question of how best to turn out the product or the student. Do we restructure the system? Do we change the curriculum? Do we switch to online schools? Do we do more or less testing? But none of these answers really gets to the point. The point is not to turn out a product at all. Children are not raw materials to be packaged into products for the marketplace. Each child brings distinctive gifts into the world and the power to choose how to use those gifts. The job of education is to help each child to succeed at making these choices for him or herself. The third alternative in education is to turn every child into a leader. Let me quickly say that I don't define a leader as one of the few who end up in big leadership positions. We are used to thinking of leaders as people with titles, like CEO or president. This view of leadership is an artifact of the industrial age, and we are long past that kind of hierarchical thinking. I'm talking about the ability to lead your own life, to be a leader among your friends, to be a leader in your own family, to be the active, creative force of your own life. True leaders define success on their own terms. They don't wait for others to define it for them. Because they see themselves as powerful and gifted, they compete against no one but themselves. In economic terms, they are the only providers of what they can provide. So they can auction their talents to the highest bidder. These leaders create their own future, and they have respect for self and for others. Helping each child become such a leader must be the primary purpose of education. In my new book, The Third Alternative, you can read about unusual schools where this is happening now, where young people are more than just receptacles of learning. They are becoming capable of making the great contributions only they can make, and they are becoming leaders for life. I believe this is our greatest opportunity for improving education and one of the best things we can do for our children as parents.